All right, Zoho Showtime is really great for training, live training, on-demand training, or face-to-face -face training. You can set up all three of those different types of sessions here in Zoho Showtime. So here you'll see upcoming sessions, past sessions, and then any on-demand sessions. Just to give you an idea, when we go into a session, you can, you'll see the attendee link. You can shorten that link or you can use it as is and you can, you know, send it out to people. You can, you know, add it under a button somewhere on a website. So you can do different things with that. You can also add it to the calendar. And then here's where the description would be. You can edit in order to add that. Here you'll see the list of trainers. You can add additional trainers and however much space you have for recording you'll see that here or how much you've used out of how much you have this is where you can add materials for the session right now we have one um, video that has been added and so this will be used or broadcasted whenever we um, go live right we'll be able to show everyone this video and anything else that we have listed under the materials we can also create a poll. So here we have a poll that we've created. You can you have the choice of choosing a multiple choice, a text box or a rating type. So you'll just add that in. You can also create tests. So if you wanted to add a test, let's just go to this one here. You can uh, add the name enable the grade display results or you can upload one from your computer and if you have handouts that you'd like for them to retain after the training you can add those or you can add links under registration this is where the um, you can add additional fields initially you'll see first name last name and email and those are all three mandatory but you can add additional ones. So I added city and state from the predefined fields, but then you also can create a custom field if you'd like. Manage the registration, redirect them after they've registered, and you can make the training private. If you do that, then you won't have the ability to send out links for registration. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I take that back. They can't just freely register. You'll have to send out an invite in order for them to join. This is where we can add their certificate. So we can choose the certificate that we'd like to give after they've completed the training. So it will plug in this information, their name, the session name, and so on. You can also change this image and put your logo. Here are some additional options that you can add, and here are the field choices. So now, after they've completed the session, they'll receive a certificate. Um, I do not have payment configured, but you would, you know, add tickets here if you'd like to sell tickets to your event or your training, and you would see the reports around those ticket sales. Promoting, you can promote your event by embedding embedding it on a website you have an iframe code here that you can embed and this is showing you what it would look like you can also embed a session on a website like this showing people that you have on uh, upcoming training and they can register straight from there and then you have the link that you can share and you can share that anywhere this is where um, we choose to add this session to our profile so that when someone looks at our organization's profile, we'll, they'll be able to see um, all of the sessions that we have coming up. So the profile looks like this. Obviously, we haven't added anything to it, but you have the option to add your handles for um, Twitter, Facebook, and in uh, LinkedIn. And then you have the trainer information here, the session information, and then any sessions. people who were invited, people who registered, and then additional settings for before, during, and after the session, as well as an evaluation. 
You can make it mandatory for people to rate the session after it's over and to give you feedback. And then you can also add additional questions. If you'd like for them to receive email reminders, you can turn those on for an hour before, a day before, and then you also can send a thank you email afterwards. There are only two themes here, light and dark. So you can use those, choose between those. The library is where all of the materials will be. You can upload materials here and then that way when you're creating sessions, you can easily add materials to the sessions. Any recordings that you've done on past sessions will be listed here. Also polls that you've done will be here. And then these are presentations that have been uploaded into the library. This is the user profile. The trainer will enter their information and that will be here. That way, whenever they're on the organization profile and they're going through all of the trainers for that session, once they click on your um, name and photo, they'll see all of this information. It's going to, you know, have your skills, your bio, your occupation and organization, and then your social media links. For the organization profile, you'll go here under administration, and then it has some of the same information, social media, um, a section for uh, de uh, description, and then a logo. But then you also have the ability to see how many attendees you can host, how much space you've used, how many trainers you can have, the users, if you had multiple users, or trainers and you can configure your payments this is the dashboard that will show uh, show you how many sessions registrants um, attendees and then audio audience engagement the number of questions and polls you will have session performance here and then you have a leaderboard at the bottom you can add a primary domain and then here is where you'll add your emails. Zoho Showtime can be integrated with the CRM and then also you have Zapier. All right, so that sums up Zoho Showtime. Um, this is a really cool tool for conducting any type of training, sometimes for um, webinars as well, any type of meetings that you have that you want people to be able to register for. You can use Zoho Showtime for that. All right, if you have questions, comments, drop them in the comment section below. And if you need help with your Zoho uh, customization, integration, or anything of the sort, you can find us at successfulwith2lsolutions.com.